What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Wave Gretzky Show. If you're new here, my name is Alfred Romero and today, earlier today I should say, Avery and I went apartment hunting. That's correct, our lease is up on July 31st so we gotta skedaddle and find another place to live. We visited the Aiden and we got a tour of the place and we actually put in for it so hopefully we'll know by tonight actually whether or not we got the place. So yeah, we're super excited about that. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy this little apartment hunting. If you guys do, definitely let us know and we'll take you on the journey of the whole process. Hey, again, if you are new here, definitely scroll down and consider subscribing and like the video. Nonetheless, though, let's jump right into this. Yeah, I have a mask. All right, basically, I Avery and I are, you know, looking for apartments. We're apartment hunting, and we're going on our first tour. I think we actually do like this place, so we would like to get it ideally. Um, yeah, our lease is up at our old place, so this is just the whole process we're going through. Nonetheless, though, yeah, let's do it. We're really not moving that far. Our last place is like right literally there. over there. All right, go do a fit check, Ave. Fit okay. check. We got a lonely ghost. Okay. Brixton pants. Okay. And the vans. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. And that's it. So right here downstairs, it has this little directory. It's touch green. I actually do like that. I'm guessing we'll be added to this as well. So that way they can contact us when we have friends that are here or packages. Yeah, I'm definitely not a big fan of the mailbox being outside. We can send our mail to a PO box though. Yeah. Or the clinic. So you don't want to show you in 1995? Okay. So yeah, like you just said, the unit is 1995. It's a one bed, one bath. They do have studios inside here, but we're not viewing those today. We're looking at a 650 square feet. 650. Washer dryer, you have a heating in there. Right. Yeah, our unit right now is um, we have like a full open window on this side, so the sun just beats in all day. So I'm not gonna miss that. So yeah, basically we're in the living room right here and then it has the kitchen yeah. along the wall, all brand new appliances and a stainless steel sink, of course. Um, yeah, that's kind of just the setup that most places are uh, in San Diego here. And as I'm saying in the video right now, this is actually more than enough space that we'll actually need for the kitchen. So do you guys have a building internet provider? Yeah, so uh, two different options you have here. You have a uh, Google Fiber and then you can see thing. God, oh my God. I think you just sold Dude, us. Dude, <laughs> you sold me, man. So yeah, you can hear in this video, actually, I'm super stoked to hear about the Google Fiber going through the building. They have download and upload speeds up to like 1000 megabits per second. AT&T, what we have now is just so terrible. They promise like 50 megabits per second. What is this? You're not gonna love it. What's interesting about this, four to ceiling, you have eight inches of concrete between you and the unit below and above you. So that's really nice. Yeah, right. that shouldn't be a reason at all, um, but wall to wall should be your only concern. Yeah. Um, it's just drywall with metal studs. We're pretty, we're fair, like we're very quiet. We don't really do much, but I like the concrete ceilings and floors. Just blocks out the noise a little bit better. So actually we circle back to the bathroom. I was kind of bummed that it didn't have under the sink storage, uh, but it does make up for it for having the storage above the toilet. Yeah, we, we live like right actually up the street. This way. So basically we're coming back towards the entrance right now and right at the front it has his and hers closets. But the interesting about this is it's not Jack and Jill style. There's actually a closet on the outside in the hallway. And then as you're about to see, there's closet space on the inside of the bedroom, um, which will probably be Avery's. Yeah, it's funny, couples who check it out are like, I love that closet because yeah. they're used to put up It's yeah. so nice. Yeah, you know, people are like, it's really suited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they have like summer, winter over there, but. Yeah. And then AC in this building, we, we can control it, correct? This may seem like a weird question, but we've heard instances in San Diego where things like heating and electrical have been combined in the building. So that way everybody that uses it would split the total bill at the end of the month. That's not the case for this place. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that the bedroom doesn't have a door, but um, the shower head's nice and tall for you. This is the same exact Yeah, basically what Avery's saying right now is that the shower head is tall enough for me. I've had this problem in other apartments before where the shower head is just too small and I'm like crouching over to like wash out my head. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot I too. think it could be a cute little home for us. So yeah, that was pretty much the entire tour. Avery and I actually put in on that place and we'll find out tonight whether we got it or not. Hey, so editor Alfred here, two things. We actually ended up getting the apartment, which is super dope. And the second thing is, I already know what people are gonna say, that seems like a lot of money. And if you don't live in California, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. That's, it definitely is, we're not arguing about that. 
That's actually a pretty reasonable price for San Diego. 1995, if you look anywhere else in San Diego, the average price for rent across the board is 2,250, I believe, 2,230 or something like that. So this apartment is actually $200 less than what the average is in San Diego. Could this money be better spent in a house? Yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, of course. But our ultimate goal, we probably won't be in San Diego between three and five years from now. So if we don't plan on staying somewhere for three to five years, it doesn't make sense for us to buy a house here. Also too, just because it's super freaking expensive. Um, yeah, I'm done with this rant. Now I'm gonna go back to my other rant. <laughs> There's a couple of things to remember when applying for an apartment. You want to include five major things. That's at least what we do every time. And every single time we do, we always get it. We always hear these instances of people not getting the apartment they apply for, but we have this package that we follow. The first thing is we have a cover letter and a photo. Um, just letting them who know who we are. Um, we don't have any pets or anything, but if we did, we would let them know in that as well. Just basically letting them know our job situation and that we are employed and just giving them a friendly introduction of ourselves. Legally, they're not really allowed to ask for that kind of stuff so including a picture just kind of helps especially if it's just you know one singular landlord that owns the property um, it can make or break you know him deciding to give it to you guys or someone else that applied um, this was kind of a bigger building bigger commercial property with a leasing company that's going through um, so it's kind of out of our hands secondly the thing that we include is a screenshot of our credit um, they're gonna run the credit anyway so if we could just kind of push ourselves to the front of the line of the multiple applicants coming in that always helps they want to know that you guys have good credit Credit, or at least any credit for that matter. Um, thirdly, we like to include two weeks worth of pay stubs. That's super important. Um, they just want to know that you're employed. So I have two from my job and Avery has two from her job. And yeah, that's just pretty much saying that you guys have money coming in. Fourthly, um, this is kind of optional, but we do it either way just to make them feel a little bit more safer about their decision of letting us live there is we have screenshots of our bank account. So yeah, just kind of have the money in there even if you're gonna be you know, spending money in the next couple days or whatever. Uh, take the screenshot when the bank account's looking pretty healthy just to make the decision again a lot easier and they'll know that you're gonna be paying that rent every single month that it is due. Um, the fifth and final thing. Oh yeah, and then uh, just a copy of our photo ID, the front side and the back side. That's not really that big of a deal. They'll probably ask for that in the application anyways. Yeah, I'm not sure if every single person does this, but I think more than likely 90% of people in California, they do background checks. Um, so they wanna make sure you're not a felon, make sure you're not on the run, make sure you don't have any warrants out for your arrest, because they definitely don't want those kind of people out there. It might even be mandatory. I'm not exactly too sure. That just makes your process of getting the place almost guaranteed you know 99% again it's worked every single time we've gotten into apartment uh, just being super transparent up front when you throw that transparency out there there's no if ands or buts or doubts or anything in their mind when they're letting you stay there again I'm super excited for this place I hope that we do get it if I'm not done editing by this by the time I get the word I'll throw it in there again if you guys enjoyed this type of content definitely scroll down and let me know in the comments below uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers around here guys join me join the army and help us get to 10,000 subs around here trying to make this my full-time job so yeah i appreciate every single one of you that drops by until next week my friends peace